Welcome back. The management's nimble footedness is reflected in its strong financials, and this has made it a darling among private equity players like Norwest Venture Partners, Amansa Capital, IFC, Creator, Aquarius Investment Advisors, and Apex Partners. These players collectively hold 21.45% stake in Chola. So Myra Abdi caught up with Shashank Singh of Apex Partners India to understand why they invested in Chola Mandalam. Shashank Singh from Apex Partners India now joins in. Mr. Singh, thanks very much for speaking with us. First up, what is it that prompted this interest in Chola Mandalam Invest and Finance from your side? What made you invest in this company? So we were spending a lot of time looking at the financial services space in India as a potential investment uh, destination. Um, and we identified NBFCs as an area that we wanted to focus on. And within NBFCs, we looked at uh, specific companies that had developed strong niches and uh, defensible market positions in those niches. And Chola was one of those companies that we identified. And the more work we did into this space and into, into the company specifically, uh, the more we liked. So Chola specifically has a very strong position in commercial vehicle finance, um, lights and small commercial vehicles, and an emerging business in home equity. And when we did research into the group, the Murgappa group, which is an extremely well-known group in India and uh, very well respected, we decided that this was a group that we wanted to partner with, specifically for their culture of transparency, uh, high corporate governance and integrity. You know, Chola Mandalam Investment has now become a force to reckon with. What would you attribute its success to? Chola uh, combines two attributes that we found extremely attractive. Uh, the first was the fact that it has grown um, quite remarkably over the last uh, four to five years prior to our investment. In fact, net income grew from about $10 million in 2010 to about uh, 60 to $65 million uh, last year uh, with very fast um, uh, growth of, of the loan book and assets under management, which was, uh, which was fantastic. But equally, uh, they did this and they grew very rapidly uh, while maintaining very strong credit quality. And in fact, this piece has come through um, very strongly in the last year. Uh, as they've managed to maintain a focus on, on collections and on uh, containing credit costs while some of their uh, competitor group has stumbled. Okay, so if you were to do a peer comparison, where do you think Chola Mandalam would stand? As I mentioned, um, the, the, the market, as, as we all know, the, the macro economy has been slow, uh, industrial production uh, has been slow, uh, and so in this environment, uh, what separates the strong performers from the average performers has been the ability to really focus on collections and on credit costs. And this has been our experience over the last year that we've invested, that Chola has maintained this focus uh, very strongly and has therefore demonstrated good performance to the market. You know, uh, this is a company that has been consistently paying dividends. Their stock has been on a roll. On the ROI parameters, this company has more than fulfilled their obligations. Do you think this is the kind of run rate that they can sustain? As I said, um, there, there's, a, there's a good focus on collections and, and credit costs. Uh, and this is uh, something that we laud. I think as the macroeconomy, uh, macroeconomic growth comes back, um, the, the focus will shift um, back towards uh, growth of loan book uh, in this segment. And so we, will, uh, we, we are hopeful of uh, continued strong growth uh, uh, in the company. All right then, so would you look at investing more money into the company? Absolutely. If we get the opportunity to, we would love to. Mr. Singh, thank you so much. Pleasure speaking with you. To reduce delinquency rate and operations costs, the management has invested heavily in technology. It has roped in Cognizant to digitally transform its vehicle finance business. Starting from loan origination to recoveries, reducing operations costs to improving business agility and customer experiences, these are the areas Cognizant is focusing on. Investing in technology and ensuring that we basically have the most cutting edge technology in the business I think is a base requirement for competition. As a matter of fact, the companies that do it well basically are going to be the ones that win in the future. And so for us, uh, investing in technology is something that we see as extremely important. We'll, we'll continue to do and have done over the past five years. 
Uh, I constantly, you know, push both uh, the team and myself on that front. I don't think we're doing enough. I don't think we're innovating enough as a company. But unless we start doing this more and more, uh, I do think that long-term survival for all of us is at risk. So my dream for Chola is basically to make Chola into one of the top five financial institutions in the country. I do believe that it is a dream that we can definitely achieve. Uh, we have to look at a realistic time frame for it. But I do think the opportunity for financial services in India is extremely big. And given Chola and where we're headed, I definitely think there's an opportunity for us to be one of the top five financial services player in this, uh, players in this country over time. Chola Mandalam is all set to move on to the next level as the commercial vehicle segment is on the cusp of revival. It has also recently applied for the payment bank license and ventured into SME loans. With the Indian economy slated to grow at a faster clip, the management's dream of becoming one of the top five players seems easily attainable. Well, the management have set their targets pretty high. They want to become one of the top five institutions in the country. Not an impossible task if one looks at the way the management is investing in technology to improve their overall efficiency so as to keep delighting their shareholders. The management does seem very committed. So on that note, it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you again next week with another interesting story. Till then, keep watching CNBC TV 18.